Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and in this video series, we'll be performing an assessment of the Metasploitable 2 virtual machine. Uh, this series is going to focus on the enumeration of and exploitation of Metasploitable uh, using the built in vulnerabilities that it has. So, what is Metasploitable? It is a uh, it's a Linux distribution, uh, a Linux virtual machine that's built on Ubuntu, and it was configured to intentionally have security vulnerabilities in it. Uh, it was designed for security testing in a private environment, say on your home network, uh, where nobody else will have access to it because it it is a very insecure machine, so it it should never be exposed to a public network especially you know if you're going to download this at work and use it make sure that you are on a completely separate environment um, it, it was designed to be used with metasploit um, but we'll also look at performing some manual exploits against it uh, there are some vulnerabilities within metasploitable that don't require any special tools to run. Um, there are services running that are uh, vulnerable, that are misconfigured. So and another reason that we want to look at manual exploitation is it helps you to get a deeper understanding of how an exploit works and exactly how it affects the system. So you may have some exploits that may only crash a specific service. And there's other exploits that would cause the entire machine to become unavailable. So you need to know what the exploit does before you ever use it against your target. So if you're going to be performing pen tests for clients, you need to know if it's okay to use exploits against uh, their target machines. And be sure that the client understands that in doing so, some of the systems may crash. Uh, they may decide that they don't want to take that risk, so just make sure that you discuss all of these things during the initial scoping of your project. So in order for you to follow along with these tutorials, there are a few things that you're going to need to get set up. Um, first off is going to be the uh, Metasploitable VM, and I've got the link for it here. It's uh, You can get it off of the SourceForge project page for it. Um, you're going to need to download VirtualBox and get it installed. Uh, you'll need to, uh, we're going to use Kali Linux 2.0 for our uh, attacking machine, so make sure that you have that. And then once you get these things downloaded, you're going to need to set up Metasploitable inside of VirtualBox. Um, in order to do that, if you're not that familiar with it, um, Jeremy Druin, who is over the Matilda Day project, has created a video that explains how to get Metasploitable set up within VirtualBox. And I will have all of these links in the description below. Um, you know, make sure that you've got Kali set up. You're going to be setting these up on a host only network inside of VirtualBox. So make sure that you have that configured. You, like I said before, you don't want Metasploitable exposed publicly because uh, somebody can use that to get into your network and then attack your other systems. So once you have all of these things set up, then you should be ready to go to start the rest of the tutorials. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick overview for this series and uh, go over some of the things that you're going to need in order to be able to follow along with the series. So in the next videos, we're going to start uh, working with network discovery for the Metasploitable VM. Uh, we'll go through some enumeration of the target, and then we'll start working our way through the individual exploits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and share it out with all of your friends. So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.